YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, looking to make your way back to the channel, then go ahead and hit that subscription button. Make sure to hit that like button. One like helps the algorithm of YouTube push the video out to more people. That way more people hear our message. I appreciate you guys so much. In today's video, the third video of the day, we are going to be showing you how these Warzone pros like Destroy and Aiden that get shadow banned, how they bypass the shadow ban, and how they copy their stats onto a new account. Hope you guys sit back, relax, enjoy the video. It's sure to be an absolute banger, and I will, as always, see you guys in the next one. Peace! Also, if you haven't watched our last video, don't watch this video yet. Watch the last video because... People could use websites like we shown off in that last video, like say they get shadow banned and they could, for I'm going to give you an example here. If someone gets banned, they could opt for one of these services to copy their stats back to a new account and look legit as possible. So people wouldn't even know that they got shadow banned. So we know because they came out and said it that Destroy and Aiden's gotten shadow banned. But what if other people have gotten shadow banned like Z Laner and just masked it up remember that time when everyone was running around with user this and user that what if they just masked it up copy the name copy the stats got on a new account use one of these services then because they know they're cheating right now, let's say the whitelist don't exist and people are but they're using these services right let's say the whitelist don't exist but people are getting shadow banned but using these services to make it look like their old account. I'm just throwing up food for thought, but it's a very interesting concept, so I'm not gonna waste too much more of your time. We're gonna get right into the video and show you guys what I'm talking about. Right guys, so today I'm gonna be showing you how I got around the hardware ID ban on Warzone. Um, I was hardware ID banned when I started raid tracking, dropping 30 kills in each game, just getting headshot after headshot with snipers, just it's your account's not even going to last a day, so I'd advise you not to be doing stuff like that and play on legit settings. They're still overpowered on those settings, those legit settings. And like I say, a lot of people have been asking about spoofers as well on the channel. Um, the thing is, with spoofers, a lot of people will advertise spoofers saying they're working and all this and that, that it's going to change your hardware ID and stuff like that, but they don't all work. So I'd, I'd advise you not to waste your money on stuff like that and just play on legit settings. If you're rage hacking, then you're probably going to want to spoof. But um, anyway, I'll tell you how I got around the hardware ID ban on Warzone, and that is Cynical Software, which is cynicalsoftware.net. Um, I actually had the Cynical Cleaner one month license, uh, which comes with all aimbot and ESP wall hacks, all that type of stuff. Um, it's not as good as engine owning, though. Um, some things are good on it, but in my eyes, it, this is twice the price of engine owning. Um, but you do get, in this one month package, you will get the cleaner, you'll get Warzone Helper, which is the aimbot and stuff like that, and the wall hack. And you will get. I think there's another thing. I think you get an unlock all on it as well. But like I say, I would just stick with engine oil if you're buying hacks because it's half the price and it's good stuff. So what you want to be doing is you want to buy the Cynical Cleaner. Now, this is what removes the hardware ID on this, this program here. Um, it literally takes about five minutes, one click of a button. Your PC will reboot and you'll have a new user on here. So what you'll do is you'll sign into that new user. Um, re-download a battle net and you will sign into a new account not not your old account where you've been shadow banned or you've, you've got hardware ID banned um, spoofers or any types of software don't remove shadow bans you've either got to wait till your time's up to whether they decide whether they're going to ban your account or most times it will be the, the shadow ban will be lifted within 14 days but, um, yeah, anyway, so just don't trust anyone that they're saying that they're going to unban your account or they're going to uh, remove shadow bans and you're going to be able to play on that account. Just don't trust them because it doesn't work. So this is the only thing that works to remove hardware ID ban that I've found. You will have to go on to a new account because a hardware ID ban, what that means is, say, if you 
you got a shadow banned and then you made a new account, you logged into that account and you got an instant shadow ban on that account. That's what a hardware ID ban is. And this, like I say, this software removes that. So let us know if there's anything else you want to see on the channel, guys. Um, try my best to explain what this does and how to remove that stuff. But if you have any more questions, just let us know down in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. See you soon, guys. What's up, guys? Uh, we're going to give you a little quick...